you can have a local network here, so local communication network with its own LANs, computer servers, PLCs, touch panels, VSDs, and this localized network can be a smaller SCADA system by itself, and it's reporting through the network all the way back to the centralized SCADA server. And then you could have a standalone site, just an RTE or PLC by itself, it communicating through radio, into the repeater radio, and back, back from the network into the corporate WAN. The communication can be done through the next G or cellular or satellites as well. With the nowadays in communication, you know, the 4G and 5G communication, it made it very possible for the data to be collected from every, from every location in the metropolitan area. We got so many protocols, we got this huge gigantic network here, so how would this protocol gonna fit with each other? So the answer is it's being segregated into specific areas or layers. So within, within a site, the common protocol will be still Modbus or Ethernet IP and the Profi bus or ProfiNet, mainly because of the Modbus and ProfiNet, ProfiBus, smaller protocol, very efficient. So that's within the plants. The plant's usually about within a couple of kilometers away. So it can be a factory, it can be a pharmaceutical lab, it can be a mining site. Called operation center, the distances become longer. Between a single site and uh, operation center can be 500 kilometers away from each other. It can be 1,000 kilometers um, away from each other in the extreme scenario. It can be 2,000 kilometers away from the control center into the field. In that particular case, the timestamp event class become extremely important. I need a DMP3 protocol, something like that, to guarantee the message is correct, guarantee the ma message was generated on a certain time of date, to guarantee the traceability for my message as well.